Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuffs here. Some of our favorite beer stuffs. The one shouted in mystery, that's right. A little bit of mystery beers, courtesy of my boy Cameron from Wisconsin. It's hard to get that one out, Wisconsin. Uh, mystery beers. You have no idea what the beer is. That's mystery beers. They're very, very fun. Because we are often wrong. Which makes them even funner. -er. Er, er. Three ers on that sucker. Uh, Leibweiss, classic mystery beer stylings. Beer wise, that looks like a big old hazy. I think we're right on both accounts. I mean, rich, turbid looking index finger, big, fluffy, creamy head. Let's see if we can get a nose. <sighs> that smells like the good stuff. Not gonna lie to you, it smells very much like the good stuff. Big, huge citrus comp components here. A little bit of sweet and kind of like candy ringy, kind of uh, peach ringy, kind of stone fruitiness. And a little bit of kind of like sweeter tropical fruits. Like it's running the game. It's heavily citrus leaning. We're talking about orange. We're talking about grapefruit. We're talking about pineapple here. It's very, very bursting at the seams. But it has those other bits and pieces. That little bit of sweeter tropical fruit, kiwi, all of that kind of thing. A little bit of candy ring, stone fruit. I think it's going to be a little bit sweet, but not overly sweet. Bittering wise... I think it got a little bit of ranky dank green on the taste too. Just a little bit of kind of hints there in the nose, but man, it really does come off as an ultra juice bomb uh, on the nose. So I'm guessing at least double IPA somewhere in that in that realm. And honestly, just the nose really does come off ep epically fantastical. Maybe a touch of lactose just to bring that nice kind of soft sweetness to it. We're just gonna dive in. Cheers, y'all. That's good. That's the good stuff. When you talk about hazy IPA, this is about up there. That's some of the better ones that I've had as of late for a couple of reasons. One, it is kind of bursting at the seams with that um, fruit portion of the show that still runs that gamut. It follows exactly on the nose um, as it does in the taste. You do get this kind of big um, citrus component with those ancillary kind of peach and uh and tropical fruit kind of vibe going on um but it is all the citrus arbel on us it's where that kind of green bittering portion of sure that comes in that's a little bit i don't want to say add new ordinary but it's so heavily hop dosed that you definitely get like a kind of like ultra fresh kind of green component to it i'd be really surprised that the beer is older than a month old as you can just, you know, almost like it's not hot burn so that's where it comes off very, very tasty and very, very fun. But it does have this kind of green component that I really do dig, at least at the level it's bringing here. It's not going to be confused with like a super ranky dank, even though there's little components of that um, kind of green rankiness from it. But it really is more of a hot pelletized kind of greenness that you're getting here, but in a positive way. There is that soft touch of lactose in here. Even if the brewery says it's not there, it's 100% in there. This is really good stuff. Honestly, it comes off to me as an eight and change, 8.5%, somebody's double IPA. I'd be very surprised if this isn't like one of the better breweries out there as far as when hazies go. Screams hot butcher to me. That green portion is a little bit outside of their um, um, norm, I guess you would say for me. But it just has this kind of, either someone, uh, either it is Hot Butcher, or if somebody's really, really kind of leaning into something that they want to be like Hot Butcher or something along those lines. That green portion, like I said, is a little bit I kind of add the ordinary for them. But I'm doing these mystery beers in order, so hopefully you watched the previous one that I put up. That was a Hot Butcher beer, so I got Hot Butcher in the brain, even though I did that a couple days ago. Um, yeah, 8.5% double IPA from a really good brewer. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Hot Butcher. Um, hops, Galaxy, Citra, Mosaic, I mean, really, maybe for the fun skis, let's throw nectar on in there, done and done, let's see what this sucker is, okay, we have here, Toppling Goliath, yeah buddy, oh, it's King Sue, right, D oh, Dry Hop Pseudo Soup, Pale Ale, oh, this is really, really good. Mmm, mmm. $16.99, oh, four pack, that's what I'm talking about, sons of bitches. 
Um, was two days fresh when purchased. Regular pseudo sue is ten dollars per four pack. Yeah, see, we get pseudo sue by me on the reg. Um, it, it, it's not usually hyper fresh. Usually about a month old. We get it for thirteen ninety nine, which I'm okay paying. Uh, this is packaged. It's three weeks old, so that kind of makes sense. And it was that double dry hop kind of makes sense on this. Um, and I said this is eight percent. Is pseudo sue is what six and change? I want to say what's the ABV? Top of glass, so I know it's on here somewhere. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic beer. I would buy this all day long. You can get this beer for that price point. I, it's hard. 5.8%. That's what I'm talking about. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. You can get this level of deliciousness and impact at 5.8%. Breweries, that's why I went 8% on this, because this is like, you know what I mean, there's a select few breweries that, uh, I'm going to say select few, there's a small portion of breweries that really do this, you know, Kane, um, Top and Goliath, um, you know, Hot Butcher could do it, like there's some breweries that could do it, a lot of breweries can't, this is the impact and, 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 and deliciousness, a lot of people get this flavor profile, they have to get to 8 they have to hit eight, otherwise they just don't get it. They just don't actually get up there big enough for the beers to be like this. And this is sub six percent. I really just want to punch people in the face right now. How delicious beer is. Mm. Double dry hopped with um, pale ale showcases of citra hop for a well balanced beer. It's delicate in body <clears throat> with a mild bitterness in the finish. Ferocious Air, Air Max Citrus Mango give a refreshing taste that is bright and just enough bite. This is world, world MF in class deliciousness. Oh, great. I've always liked the, the, Sioux, the Sioux labels. Man, you're giving this to me. Ah, I tore up the thing. What was it? $16.99? $14.99? 15 bucks. Let's call it even 15 for sake conversation. God damn it. God damn it. This is hey, this is really, really good. This is, no, let's walk it back. This is really, really good beer. Just happens to be also a very, very good, very, very delicious, really, really good hazy. Man, this is kind of just how it's supposed to be done. And it's kind of a master class on how it's supposed to be done. And it really just kind of, you know, any anytime you're, you're out there, because this is probably decently readily available. I don't see this. I haven't seen this by me. Not that I'm constantly looking for this kind of beer. But we do get a decent amount of Top and Goliath by me. <clears throat> so I am assuming this is semi-readily available to other people. Pick this up. I implore you. If you love Hazy's, pick it up. You're just going to think it's delicious. But drink this, and then this is exactly what I mean when I get all hot and bothered about ABV. Because this is how it should be. This is what can be done at this ABV level. There are certain markers certain bits and pieces that are really really hard to hit unless you get to that eight percent it's a little bit of a body thing a little bit of a sweetness thing not necessarily sweet or beer but how the beer kind of comes off a density thing but there's no rhyme or reason why you shouldn't be able to hit this at i don't even don't you don't even do sub six for this give me six and a half and i am the happiest dude all day long absolutely fantastic Let's talk about it. This is one of the better pale ales. Because that's what this is. This is a 5.8% hazy pale ale that I've had as late. Mount Rushmore status. MFing, no questions asked. Up there all day, son. All day. Um, like, I mean, the value and availability we already talked about was bonkers. And just leave it with, man, you'd be like, well, you like this? You like hazies. This is just delicious. <laughs> I love this beer so much I want to post it right now. So much I love it. Oh, God damn. Thank you very much, Cameron, for sending us off. Very, very delicious beer. I was off on ABV. Well, I think it kind of got most of everything else. <coughs> and I am happy that I was totally off on ABV because it's not so much that I thought it was 8%. It's just like, a brewery's not going to do this at anything below 8%. So I got to go 8.5%. Um, so there we go. Top of Goliath. Have you had their beers? Have you had Sue recently? Because I know a lot of people kind of pooped on them for a while. Because they weren't the same beers. Now I think they are. Um, have you had this particular 
batch of this DDH monstrosity of deliciousness. Anything, all around. Been to the brewery the whole nine down there. Let's talk about it. There you go. Beer review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Mystery beers, love to do them. If you ever want to send off mystery beers, reach out. Matt, massivebeers.com. Massivebeers at gmail.com. It all gets the same place. Hopefully you're enjoying the hazy right now. Hopefully you're enjoying the mystery beer right now. Hopefully you're enjoying this beer right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.